Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the five main recreational substances, what it does to your brain, how it feels, and some of the side effects. Now imagine our brain as a vast and intricate network of neurons, each communicating with one another through neurotransmitters. They're like particles interacting in a quantum field. Now, when we introduce substances like marijuana, LSD, ketamine, or molly into the system, we're essentially altering the dynamic of these neurotransmitter reactions. Take marijuana, for example. Within this plant, we find THC, a compound that acts like a key fitting into specific locks or receptors in the brain. These receptors are known as cannabinoid receptors, or CB receptors, and they're part of a larger network influencing mood, memory, and perception. When THC binds to these receptors, it triggers a cascade of events, like a domino effect, altering the neurotransmitter release and ultimately lead to the sensation of relaxation, altered perception associated with marijuana use. Now meet Tracy. Tracy is a college student. She occasionally indulges in cannabis, finding solace in its ability to slow down time and induce relaxations on weekends, while she experiences transient issues like paranoia sometimes, difficulty concentrating right after she uses. These effects pretty much dissipates within a day or two, allowing her to resume her college routine and get decent grades. Now meet Daniel. His relationship with cannabis has evolved into a daily habit since his freshman years. His daily use has affected his grade and his mental health. He struggles to focus in class and complete assignments. He failed the same first year chemistry class three times. His dependence of cannabis has escalated to the point where he started having some withdrawal symptoms. His roommates and friends also noted that they heard him speaking to himself alone in the room. He is now at risk of developing psychotic disorders such as schizophrenia. Now let's dive into the realm of psychedelics, such as LSD. LSD operates on a different set of receptors, especially the serotonin receptors, which plays an important role in regulating your mood and your cognition. Think of LSD like a conductor trying to orchestrate a symphony inside your brain that modulates these serotonin levels and induce some alterations in your perception and consciousness. This dance between the LSD and the serotonin receptors leads to those vivid visual hallucinations and altered state of consciousness experienced by the users of LSD. So what does LSD do to you? Well, meet Emily, a curious college student who decides to try LSD at a music festival with her friends. She heard about the mind-altering properties and wanted to try it out herself. During her trip, her senses were heightened, colors were more vibrant, and she experienced a profound sense of connection to her surrounding. She had heightened awareness of her thoughts and emotions. While the experience was intense, she loved the feelings, and she started using more. She started using it daily and started feeling some of the negative side effects. She started feeling these intense anxiety and paranoia during her trips leading to frightening hallucinations and loss of touch with reality. Moving on to phencyclidine, or angel's dust, and ketamine. Both of these are dissociative drugs, which make you feel like you're not really yourself, or makes you feel like you're not in your own body. It's like watching a movie where you're the main character, but everything else feels strange and distant, almost like floating in a bubble, just disconnected from everything around you. It makes it very difficult to understand what is real and what is not. It can even make you act really strange or do things you won't normally do. Finally, let's talk about MDMA, ecstasy, or molly. It's often referred to as a love drug or happy pill. It enhances the release of serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. It floods the brain with these feel-good chemicals. Picture the MDMA as a catalyst. It accelerates, speeds up the release of these neurotransmitters, amplify the feeling of empathy, connection, and euphoria and makes it feel like everybody is your friend. But prolonged MDMA can deplete your serotonin and lead to depression and anxiety after the drugs fade away. Using MDMA too much can make you have trouble sleeping, feels more anxious. It can also affect your mood and memory. Sometimes it might even affect your brain cells if you use it too much or if you use it at a very young age. Now I hope you found this video helpful in knowing why these medications cause the effects that it does and the harmful effects that it comes with. Don't be afraid to talk to your healthcare professional and get the help that you need.